Hey there everyone, Hatesh here from Learn Code Online and welcome back again to JavaScript. So yes, I know that we have created our index file, our CSS file, it's looking pretty awesome and amazing and if I go back, this is all we have. And I, yes, I am also aware that I promised you that in this video, we're going to go ahead and work on it. And just by the way, in case you noticed, I actually have copied and pasted these li a couple of times to show you some stuff in here. And this doesn't really affect much. It says record YouTube videos a number of times. So really easy peasy stuff. Just copy and paste this li like two or three times and that's it. That's what we are looking for. Okay. Now, yes, I promised you to write the todo.js, but I will not be doing in this video. We'll be doing that in the upcoming video. Yes, of course, the next one. First and foremost, I want to talk about two subjects which I didn't cover up previously in our series, but right now is the perfect time because we are about to use them. So the two things are, first of all, is create text node. So far, we have learned about the create element and then the putting up some text content inside it and then putting that using a pen child. That's completely fine. But there is also an element called create text node that we can use. So let me first talk about that. Okay. So for example, we have a variable, we are going to call this h because I want to create an element h1. So I think uh, this h is pretty good name for h1. How I can create that it's pretty simple document dot create element, there we go. And what element I want to create? Yes, of course, h1. So my element is created. Now I want to insert some text inside this h1. Of course, a blank h1 doesn't really make sense. So I want to insert some value inside it. So I'm going to say var and I'm going to call this as uh, my, my value. And that is going to be equal to. So how we are going to insert some value inside this h1 tag. Previously, we have seen uh, the thing which says text content work absolutely fine. But there is another way of adding it, which is document dot create text node. And this is so common that in case you will be wondering around stack overflow, you will be seeing this plethora of time. So that's why I really wanted to cover it. So create text node, how does it work? You just enter your text inside it, probably a simple hello world, just like that, if I can write the world correct. Hello world. Now what we have done, we have created an, a node here with element which is h1 and inside that h1 we have actually created a text node which is h1. So basically if you'll ask me technically what we have done so far is h1 and then h1 this is being created and now I have written hello world if I can write it correct come on hello world and there we go. So this is what we have done. Also we have cut that down onto the clipboard. We haven't pasted it anywhere on our index file. So what we need to do. Okay. Now, first and foremost, you might be thinking that yes, we have done this, but actually there is one more step. Uh, it is there now right now what is happening. Uh, we do have our h1 tag and somewhere we have this hello world. We need to put this hello world inside this h1. Okay, this is exactly the situation. So how I can put this h1, uh, this hello world inside that it's really simple, you select your element, and then you use append child. And what is the child that you want to insert in this h1 is simply my value. Okay, I hope that is clear. Now it is cut and on my clipboard, I want to paste it on a web page. That is really simple, we're going to use document dot query selector. And I want to insert it just below the h1. Notice my h1 is just here, the big one, my awesome to do. I want to append it just right there and I can use append child and uh, then I can simply append this element which is h. Call it anything whatever you like. So there we go. As soon as I save this we will be able to see a big hello world there. We don't want it so we're going to just remove that. That was simply done to make sure that you understand that yes we will be using this create text node quite a lot in fact in this application. Okay. Now one more thing that we'll be using in this application is going to be a loop. Yes, we have talked about a lot of loops, but not this one. Remember the syntax of if we have a condition and then we execute the statement. And what is this new loop? Now once you convert if into this while, there we go, that's it, you got your while loop. The only thing is, yes, we write our condition in it that boils down to true or false. Now the only thing is until unless this condition is going to be true, it's going to keep repeating that loop. And this is exactly what we'll be using. So just for a quick demo, uh, let's just have a var, I should be using let, but let's just say, and we're going to have a value and this value is probably five, let's just say. So we want to use the while loop, just type while, 
and amazing awesome this vs code just hit enter it's gonna fill all the things for you and we're gonna put up a condition that run this loop till this value is greater than zero maybe and we simply want to log the values of simply val. Now, if you're gonna run this loop just like that, it's gonna create a massacre because no, nothing is actually changing the value and it's gonna keep on running. So we need to decrease the value as well. We're gonna use the shorthand notation val minus minus, which is also equal to val minus one. So it's quite a lot of lines to write. So I'm gonna keep a shortcut val minus minus, okay. Now, once I save this, I have learned how we can run a val a simply while loop. I can figure it out by inspect and going into console, and there we go, five, four, three, two, one. Pretty awesome, pretty amazing. Okay, so now that you have knowledge of how while loop work and also how create node work, in the next video, we can work on writing the exact to-do application that our application requires in here for this index file. So that's it for this video, and let's catch up in the next one.